Hello, I'm David Hester, and this is the Bible Health 101 show, and thanks so much for listening to our program today. Now, I want to talk about aerobic exercise, but before I get into aerobic exercise, I want to show you how to breathe when you're lifting, okay? Because I was talking about uh, the, the slow technique and, and, you know, and resistance training. So you're supposed to uh, breathe in on your eccentric contraction, okay? Or while you're lowering or releasing the weight. And breathe out while you're lifting the weight, okay? So you breathe in when you're lowering the weight. You breathe out when you are lifting the weight. Now... We're going to talk about aerobic exercise, okay? And aerobic exercise is simply the continuous movement of large muscle groups for the purpose of increasing your heart rate, causing the lungs to work a lot harder, okay? And uh, basically the main purpose of aerobic exercises is to uh, keep your cardiovascular system healthy, okay, and, and there's two other benefits, it burns calories, and it helps to prevent weight gain, now, there's a lot of benefits to daily aerobic exercise, okay, first of all, it, um, it will uh, reduce the risk of dying from heart disease, okay, it will Reduce the risk of high blood pressure. Okay. Reduces high cholesterol. Okay. Reduces the development of colon and breast cancer. It uh, re reduces the risk of the developing of diabetes. It reduces body fat. It reduces depression. You know, it uh, enhances work, recreation, and sports performance. It increases your blood supply to the muscles. Okay? Uh, and it increases lung capacity and endurance. So, basically, aerobic exercises uh, involve lots of repetitions with little resistance. Okay, so it does very little to uh, firm or to tone your muscles. Okay, and that can only be accomplished by uh, resistance exercises or weight training. Now, there's all kinds of different aerobic exercise. Okay, um, you can you can choose from so many. Okay, and find one that you enjoy. But basically, you just need to get up and get moving, okay? Think about it. You can go bike riding, dancing, water aerobics, swimming, tennis, running, skating, fitness walking, jumping rope, shadow boxing. You know, there's a whole bunch of things you can choose from that would be considered aerobic exercise. Now, high-impact aerobic exercise would be things like running, dancing, tennis, racquetball, um, jumping rope, basketball, okay? And you should avoid those types of exercises if you're recovering from an injury, okay? Or if you've not exercised in a while. But low-impact aerobic exercises like walking, swimming, cross-country skiing, bicycling, um you know, uh, cross training, which is uh, a whole nother subject, um, would be like alternating high impact aerobic exercises on one day and low impact on the next. So, you know, that's useful because it allows you to work different muscle groups. It, uh, it cuts down on the risk of injury. Uh, it, it prevents you from becoming bored. Okay, so a lot of times people become bored with their workout routine and um, therefore they, they quit working out. So, I believe that aerobic exercises should be done at least three or more times a week for, you know, anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. 
okay? You don't have to exercise for 30 minutes, uh, you know, to derive any benefit from aerobic exercises. Uh, basically, all the studies show that you can increase your endurance with as little as 10 minutes of aerobic exercise a day, so long as you do it regularly, okay? Now, high-intensity um, aerobic exercise would be uh, is good. You should uh, break your 20-minute uh, workout uh, into uh, four cycles of five minutes each. Okay, uh, you know, so do uh, your activity slowly. Okay, and then steadily increase the intensity over the course of the four minutes. Okay, and then you'll reach your maximum capability at the last minute, right? So then you'll slow down to a speed and uh, that you started with and you'll start the process over again. So uh, basically you should do four complete cycles in a 20 minute interval, okay? And so the goal is to reach but not to exceed your target heart rate, okay? So your target heart rate is, you know, 80 to 90 percent of your maximum heart rate. So what you do is you're going to uh, subtract 220, or sorry, you're going to subtract your age from 220, okay, to uh, determine what your maximum heart rate is. I'll say that again. Subtract your age from 220 to determine your maximum heart rate. Now, if you're 40 years old, okay, then your maximum heart rate would be 180, okay, because that's 220 minus 40 and uh, so your target heart rate is uh, 144 which is 80% of 180 to 162 which would be 90% of 180 so you know and then after you've you've done your your exercises be sure that you cool down okay um, continue the exercise for a few more minutes um, you know just to kind of cool down, but do it at a minimum exertion level. You know, well, thanks so much for uh, listening to the program today. Uh, we've, we've talked about the benefits of exercise, the barriers of exercise. Uh, you know, we've, we've talked about all sorts of things, aerobic exercise, and this is the, uh, the completion of what would be week nine in uh, the 12-week course that I learned at the Life Extension Center that I that I teach regularly. Okay, so thanks so much for listening today, and God bless you. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below the video on the YouTube channel or on the website, which you can find at www.biblehealth101.com.